Good day, folks. It's Tony Fortunato from The Technology Firm. I'm going to show you something a little different. Now, I know network people aren't programmers. This is not a programming class. This is just something really quick and dirty that I think you might find helpful. So it involves Python and capturing packets. And, and again, this is not going to take a lot of programming experience. Trust me. So the first thing you do is you install Python. That doesn't take very long. So go get it python.org, download it, install it, good to go. If you got Linux, you already got it, don't worry about it. And then the only thing you have to do is install this PyShark. Uh, and you type pip space install space PyShark, enter. And then as soon as you hit enter, it's going to go and download and install everything you need, right? So off it goes to the races, it's done. So the next thing you do is we're just gonna create a Python script. And this is it. It's pretty simple. I'll put it right in the article so you don't have to do anything. You just copy and paste it. And you're basically using this PyShark. And you're going to capture. And then it's going to time out after five seconds. And that's it. That's it. Simple. The reason why I'm doing this is for a very specific reason. And that's this interface. So with Windows, this is not the correct syntax. But we don't know what interfaces we have. So this is a really easy way to find out what interfaces you have for the next step. So this script is called PyShark Capture Test. So literally, let me move this off. We're going to type Python, PyShark, and test. Enter. Boom. So now it's going to try to do what it does. It's going to fail. We know it's going to fail. And it's going to tell you that, hey, that interface doesn't exist. But what you need to do is find the interface you're going to use. So mine's called Killer. And yours might be called Local Area Network or whatever it is. And it's right above it this this is what we need that's that's the interface information so from that we're going to create um, well you don't have to create another script but I'm going to just simply create another one and show you there it is so basically in the interface we put that in there you just copy and paste it the only thing you got to pay attention to is we need two of these backslashes now it's only going to get one so you got to add one there and there and that's it that's it and once you put that in there it'll work so let's give this another try. Let me do this. So Python, same deal. And this one is just packet, Python, <laughs> Python Pi Shark capture. There we go. <laughs> Enter. So now it's going to go for five seconds. It's going to capture a bunch of packets uh, and it's going to add it to a file. So what I did here, which is a little bit different, is I added something to the end here, which again, I'll put in the article comma, output file, and the name of the file, test.pcapng. So when it's done, it is, if I just type the name of the file, which again is going to be right here, test.pcapng, so I'm going to type that in, test.pcapng, enter, it will launch Wireshark, and there's my packets. So if you needed to capture packets and you don't want all the overhead of having Wireshark installed, this is a really cool little alternative for those really uh, funny little situations where you might need it. Hope that helps. I know people are going to ask, um, how do you do this to capture a certain number of packets, not based on time? Because I'm not a big fan sometimes of doing time. If you have a lot of data, I'd rather do it based on the number of packets. That's real simple. This is the original uh, code. And in Python, if you just put a pound in front of it, it's a remark or a comment. And that's what I'm going to do, mark this out. And now I want to capture uh, 100 packets and stop. And it's capture sniff. And in the brackets here, I'm just changing timeout to packet count equals 100. If you research PyShark, it'll, it'll tell you what all these are, right? But I thought I would just show it to you. So we save it. We run it. And it's not going to take long because obviously I'm on, I'm on the network generating traffic. And now if I double click on that here, I'll just type test test.pcapng, enter, and there it is. There's Wireshark, and we just bring this down a bit. And you can see here in the corner, there's 100 packets right on the button. So there's lots of ways of doing this, okay? And I would encourage you just to play with it if you ever have a need for it. And again, just have fun. Have a good day, folks. Bye for now.